Now the purpose of this video is to mention and just kind of bring to your attention the topic of down-level server management. This is something you will see in some form on the exam and I just want to chalk talk with you here just a second. Point out some things you have to do to make down-level server management function. Now what is a down-level server? A down-level server is a remote server that you want to manage but that server is not running Windows Server 2012. It's running an older version of Windows Server. It's in your domain, but it's just not running Windows Server 2012. Now, the good news is down-level servers can be managed from the server manager in Windows Server 2012. Now, the rest of that story is that Different earlier versions require different steps to actually make this down-level management possible from that Windows Server 2012 Server Manager. So let me give you the steps here. What you really want to do real world is work with Server 2008 or Server 2008 R2. These are the simplest to manage. The farther back you go, the more involved it gets. Now you got to watch this if you're trying to do down level server management on server 2008 or 2008 release 2 you have to install the following updates in the order I'm giving them to you here. You will have to install the .NET Framework 4.0 on that remote server. So go to your server 2008 or your 2008 R2 box and install the .NET Framework 4.0. Then you will also need to install the Windows Management Framework 3.0. Then, and this one's a little bit odd, there is a performance update that's associated with Knowledge Base Article 2682011. You'll have to go look up that Knowledge Base. Just go to Microsoft.com and look up Knowledge Base 2682011. And that has a link in there that you'll connect to to download this hotfix that will allow the server manager to collect performance data from server 2008. Now I had this idea of going and grabbing that hotfix, dropping it into the work files folder for you, but Microsoft wants to collect information about who's getting that. And so you have to log in with uh, an ID from Microsoft and so forth. And so I don't want to violate any kind of copyrights or anything like that. So I didn't do it. So you'll just have to actually go out to Microsoft, search out that knowledge base article 2682011, read about that, download that hotfix and apply it. And then you will be able to manage Windows Server 2008 or 2008 R2 boxes. Now when it comes to Windows Server 2003, I'm not even gonna go into it here. I don't think you're gonna see this a whole lot on the exam. Just understand for the exam, down-level server management is possible. Uh, you have to do a little bit of work and install the .NET framework and some of that other stuff that I talked about on 2008. For Windows Server 2003, it's a little more involved. I'm just going to refer you out to TechNet. Just go to Microsoft.com, search for TechNet, and then just look for down-level server management Windows Server 2003, something like that, and you'll see the details that are involved there. But the good news is down-level server management is possible. Just know that you can do it for the exam. And you might want to memorize those three steps that I gave you that you'll have to do to your 2008 boxes to be able to remotely manage those from the server manager in Server 2012. And you should be good to go for the exam on this topic.